All right, so right now we finally made it back over for our four o'clock meeting over here with Matt at AFCO. Hey guys, hope y'all are still enjoying our content from ICAST 2024. Lots more to come. Keep the uh, notifications on, like, and subscribe. As I've told you before, Colin is, this is his standard look, if you've seen in the videos. Yeah, every AFCO, day. AFCO every day, that's it's what a, it's it is. It's a good look, man. Yeah, it's a, <laughs> yeah, it works really well. So we're looking at new products here, and this is the one we decided to start on. And uh, I'm going to let you tell us a little bit about it. Yeah, man. So this is our new uh, Coastal Layer hood. Uh, this is based off of our Coastal Layer quarter zip that has been hugely successful for us. It's really kind of playing off the popularity of, that, of the uh, athleisure wear um, that's become so popular the last few years. Years. Um, so this fabric is incredibly soft. It's absolutely buttery soft. It is very soft, I'm telling you, but it's thick. So this is not something for summer fishing. Nope. It's going to be. Uh, it's going to be either uh, if it's really cold, you can use it as your base layer, um, or if it's uh, you know like mildly cold, uh, you can use it as like a mid layer, or uh, you know sometimes if it's not if it's uh, just yeah. a little bit chilly. Now is this a pocket it's, it's all the way layer. through? Yeah. So, you so have your a, hands will touch. Exactly. Full yep. zipper kangaroo pocket. Okay. Um, so you can go all the way through like that close yep. up one side leave well, what's really nice about it here is there's a tacking stitch that goes above the uh, top top of the kangaroo pocket right it's one of the small attention to detail that the design team uh, goes about it where essentially what that does if you have something in your pocket in your kangaroo pocket that right. sags like yep. a phone or something right see how your uh, kangaroo yep. pocket yep. won't sag right. so it, it puts the pressure on the and stretches the entire shirt instead of just making the kangaroo pocket sag the hood is nice I'm, I'm wondering how tight that is when it pulls off the the, the neck oh, yeah, you know, so, so if you're not wet, okay, so it's yep. not so it's not bad. Still, bad, still will kind of protect you from sun a little bit there, but not exactly. in the way. Yep, and these have a UPF 40 rating. UPF 40, so that's yep. good to know. What about these? Is that new pants or are there new pants over? I uh, know. So these are also some new pants we got coming out. So we have two new pants coming out this fall. Uh, right. We have the uh, the all day pant, which is this one right here. Yeah. Um, kind of your classic like tech pant. Yep. So it's a five pocket pant. You have one zip uh, one zipper on your left thigh. Yep. Uh, and then uh, all your regular standard, you know. Uh, front pockets, back pockets. It's uh, moisture wicking. It's going to be breathable, UPF protection. Uh, these are going to retail for about ninety dollars. Okay. Um, and it's just going to be a good, solid, just everyday. I don't tech think we pant. said retail on this. What uh, was this that? one's fifty nine retail. Fifty nine retail. Yeah. Oh, also, awesome. and this one here is our uh, deck hand pant. So deck, uh, deck hand or de deck man? Uh, deck hand pant. Deck yes, hand. Sir. Okay. Yep. And so this is based off of uh, our uh, deck hand short that okay. debuted uh, earlier this spring. Okay. Um, it is, uh, and that was our update to our stealth short. Uh, biggest. Uh, update that I, I that I really like is our waistband on these. Oh, okay. It's super comfortable to wear yep. even if you're sitting down for a long period of time in the truck driving to the lake. If this gets a little bent right here right. it's not going to dig into yourself so it's still going to be very comfortable when you're sitting down for long periods of time. And even, then after a meal it stretches a little bit. Exactly. Okay, exactly. Yeah, so it's what. a great, great, great <laughs> pant to wear for on Thanksgiving Day. Too. That's right. That's you don't right. have to unbutton after you. Now is there a big difference between these pants and those? Like what is the main the, main difference? Uh, main difference is uh, the material of the, of the pant itself. So this is going to be a four-way stretch material okay uh, and the uh, it's going to be a little bit more stain resistant that's what I was going to ask yes yeah. yeah, so a little bit more geared towards actual fishing like with fishing blood I mean does fishing blood stain it like immediately or uh, no so okay. uh, I was actually out uh, on Saturday fishing out in Southern California okay. yeah. I caught a bunch of fish ended up getting blood all over my pants bleeding fish and I purposefully just to actually try it out yeah I didn't I didn't even put any water didn't try to brush the blood right. off at all okay Washed them, and I didn't I couldn't find a single speck of blood so incredibly stain that's resistant nice. that's um, nice another nice little attention to detail detail piece from the design team is that in the pockets the way they're sewn right they, uh, they're designed to have whatever you have in the pockets push outward away from you uh, that way when you have something in your pocket there whether it be weights your phone yeah, anything yeah, it's yeah. gonna end up angling away from you so it's not gonna be down digging in so as you're moving around casting moving around the right. boat you're not gonna have whatever's in your pocket scraping up against what kind of retail uh, these are going to be ninety nine ninety nine. Well, let's go look at your uh, the, the backpacks. I Absolutely. guess that's tackle bags. Or uh, yes. Yep. So we let's got, have a look at those. New, two new tackle so, bags that are awesome. All right. Uh, two new tackle bags. Uh, both of them are based off our, our incredibly popular Urban Angler backpack. Okay. This first one is our, uh, we call it the Bank Patrol X-Pack. Yep. And the reason we call it X-Pack is that's the name of the material that we made out of it. So it's actually a material that uh, sails from sailboats are made out of. So it's got the cross section here, which is a ripstop. So yep. that way if anything gets punctured here, the uh, the cut will only go as far as one of these seams go. So if it does happen to get uh, damaged, really it's not going to go too far. These ones also have... 
like the lure pages from our uh, new oh, lure binder. Oh, super man. heavy duty. Super That's heavy nice. duty. Once again, rip stop as well. Yeah. Um, so these are going to hold up really well if you get punctured from a hook or something. And then this one, you still have your room for a 3600 size tackle box. Right. And then your hydration pack is actually a name brand hydration pack. So it's Hydro Pack versus a man, generic. Everything you need. Yes, everything we need. And then we also added an additional rod holder on this one. So it has two wow. rod holders okay. versus one. Uh, this one's going to retail for 179 179 And this was the other version? Yes, and this okay. is our other version. So this uh, version right here, uh, one of the biggest pieces of feedback we got from the original Urban Angler, yep. we people wanted more space for tackle. So okay. we listened in on this one. We uh, got rid of the hydration pack. Okay. And now we have room for a 3,700 size box, a 36, yep. and a 3,500 size box. And then honestly, if they decided to go out and they needed a high, they put bottles of water yep. in that section, exactly. reduce their tackle. Yep. yep. Yeah. This one's only going to be 99.99. So same price as the original Urban right. Angler. Uh, just holds more tackle, uh, and then has an, uh, uh, once again another additional rod holder. And I asked you earlier, not waterproof, but water resistant. Yes. Both of these bags here. Yes. Only reason is because the zipper is not waterproof. So if you dive in, you're going to get your stuff wet. But if if yes. it's raining, you're probably not going to end up with Yeah, light rain. If it's a torrential downpour and you're out for an hour and a half, you'll get a little bit of leakage, but it's not going to be like, you know, it's yeah, not like you're going to have it open. Yes. That's right. Yep. And then uh, one last thing on both bags on improvement versus the old one. We uh, added a, a more separation between yep. your back, back here. You're sweating exactly. so bad. Exactly. So on okay. a hot day, yep. there will always be a little bit of room for air to go in between your back and the backpack. The last product I wanted to see, because yeah, like I said, we carry your stuff. We know the shorts are great. We don't yes. need to see that. Y'all have got something I've not seen you carry before, and that's a dip net, or what do you call it? The uh, it's, our, it's our new Titan landing net. Landing net. Yes, I, call it, uh -huh. I call it dip net. I guess that would be more for minnows or something. Uh -huh. But anyway, let's look at that landing net. Absolutely. All right, so this is our new Titan landing net. Uh, basically designed to be the last net you'll ever need to buy. Okay. Uh, they are, it's a it's kind of a, a buy once, cry once type deal. So okay. it's going to be a premium price net, um, yep. but it's all aircraft grade aluminum. Everything's made in the USA. Before we go any farther, yes, sir. premium price, yep. meaning? Uh, so we're looking at uh, $299 and $349. But the last net you'll need to buy. Exactly. How do, you, how do you, I mean, what if this rips? Uh, I mean, so uh, it, we have a great warranty with, with all AFCO products. Okay. If the net itself rips, we'll be able to get your replacement. And we'll, okay. and we'll take care of you. The netting is probably the spot where it's most likely to rip, but uh, this stuff is super, super heavy duty, yeah. okay. rubber coated netting. The chances of this ripping um, and just under normal normal use, very, yeah. very slim. But everything else, not gonna, salt water, good? Salt, salt water, good to go. Yep, it's aluminum, so it's all gonna be corrosion resistant. Yep. Um, biggest thing, Whenever a net typically breaks, it's almost always at the yoke. Okay. So, and this yoke, you can see, it is about an inch thick, solid yep. aluminum. This is, this yoke, you can pretty much do whatever you want now, to. Now, is it going extendable anywhere. or something here? Yes, sir. Okay. So it will. Okay. Oh, okay. So. Yep. And it's kind of, and it's, uh, it's nice and quick extension. There's no, you don't have to twist it where sometimes it gets too tight and you have to, it's hard to untwist it. So just bigger net. Exactly. Then, okay. Exactly. okay. So longer net. 21 inch hoop and 24 inch Okay. Gotcha. All right. Yep. Well, good deal. We appreciate the time. Absolutely, man. And I'll, time. Happy I'll, to help. I'll swing back by here next year. And of course, Sounds we've good. got to, we got to do some booking and all for some clothing for make sure we got it for Christmas because it's one of our number one Christmas items. So Love it here, th man. this might end up being on that list. You uh huh. Know? Maybe. All right. Thanks a lot. That's a wrap.